Hello and welcome to another episode of Heather and Hops. My name is Kat or Catherine and I am a knitter based in Hertfordshire in the United Kingdom. Um, if you're new, hello, it's lovely to see you and if you are returning, it's quite nice to have you back. Um, this is just my little space on the internet where I share what knitting I've been up to, what I'm working on, maybe what I'd like to work on and the occasional thing that I've got when I've been out and about. That doesn't happen that often, but yeah. Um, I'm gonna try and keep it fairly short today. I'm not feeling too great, if I'm honest, um, and this is my first proper day off. No, it's not. But I just really need a day of doing very little, maybe a little bit of tidying around the house and just Recollaborating, recalibrating myself. Um, so let's start. Today I am wearing my Sunday cardigan, which I have not shown on the podcast before. I cast it on last Monday as a project to work on while we were at the Knitting and Stitching show last week. Um, and I actually finished it while we were there on the Saturday. So... I'm really, really pleased with it. It did knit up really, really quickly. Um, I believe it was seven or eight mil needles. Either way, I used slightly smaller than recommended just because I do knit quite loosely and I did the second size, mm -hmm. which made it slightly smaller. I'm just going to make sure that my phone is on silent. There we go. Um, anyway, so this is a petite knits pattern. Uh, there is a jumper version and I did knit the mohair version. So this is three strands of Ching Fiber mohair. This was a colorway that was exclusive for a club called Blood Moon. I really, really love this piece. I think this is gonna get quite a lot of wear and as the name suggests, I do think I'm gonna wear this a lot on a Sunday. I did actually wear it on the Sunday after I finished it and it is so warm and snuggly and given that my house does not have proper heating, I just have some underfloor heating in the room that I'm in, which it isn't on yet. I do hold out until first frost usually to put my heating on um, or just before so that the pipes don't freeze. Yeah, um, overall really recommend this pattern. It's super easy. If you're um, maybe a complete beginner, it might feel like there's not enough information in the pattern for you, but actually there is, you just might have to Google tight cast on or things like that. So yeah, really, really pleased with this. I love the size of it. I'm pleased with the sleeve length that I opted for. I think I did a slightly longer ribbing and a slightly shorter. No, I did a longer length and I actually did quite a bit more length on the body. I, I can't remember. I believe it was like 52 centimeters from cast on that was recommended and I did something closer to 64, 65, but I love it. Um, and yeah, so I'm really, really pleased with this knit and I intend or expect that I'll be wearing this quite a bit as the winter kicks in. Um, I think it's reading fairly true to color. Yeah, so there's that one. Um, I think I only have one other finished object to show you and that is Something that you will have already seen, but not this one. So sadly, I went to a show a few weeks ago and my phone got stolen and unfortunately, and a bit strangely, so did my hat. So I have cast on another Dreaming Slow hat, which is a pattern that I designed for Ching Fiber and it is knit using um, super soft sock held twice and then merino fingering held twice because we ran out and then some my hair too and this colorway is Sylvanus and I don't know why but it's one of my favorite color combinations at the moment and I just really love this hat so I had to knit it again and I might leave it on because it's actually quite snug and double mohair <laughs> um, very easy pattern if you're a new knitter and even if you're a you know You've been knitting for years and years and years. This is a really, really fast pattern to knit up. You could probably do it in a day if you wanted to or an evening. Um, 
and it's super easy. I'm really pleased that I have my hat back. <laughs> um, yeah, so like I said, I am going to try and keep this fairly short and sweet. I would love to spend a bit more time with you and I hope to get back to a few emails. I received some really, really nice ones lately, so hello to you. You know who you are if you sent me a lovely message. I appreciate it. And let's just do, let's do this one. So this is living in my beautiful bag made by Natalia, which I will link below. She might be making some project bags, which really excites me because I go on about this a lot. I use this every day. Um, it might actually need a little bit of a wash. It's really heavily used. So living in it is my first ever Stephen West project. Um, I'm sure if I did talk about it last week, I feel like I did. Um, but I have cast on the Texture Time shawl by Stephen West and I am doing it in quite an array of colours that are fairly wintry slash spring. I mean, it's quite an, amalg an amalgamation. It's a bit of a mix. I think it kind of speaks to me. It's the cool winter and the cool summer colours with a pop of black because I'm not quite as bold as a lot of other people and a lot of other knitters. Um, so I have completed the whole of section one, which I opted for the brioche version, and I have finished one side of section two, and I am about two thirds of the way through the second section. It hasn't seen that much um, time, just because I was working on this, and then I'll show you the next thing that I'm working on, that it's just so quick that it's sort of taken over this. Um, I've spent a lot of time with other people lately, and although this isn't complicated at the point I'm at the Latvian braid. It's just a bit fiddly and you kind of don't want to be twisting and nudging people and I've spent a lot of time on trains, more than three hours a day for the last, I don't know, <laughs> nearly two weeks I think. The Sunday was the nicest day um, and I will put a bit of footage in that, in that, of that on the end of this um, because Sunday was one of my favourite days I've had in a long, long time. It was lovely. It was really, really nice. Um, you'll see. There's a lot of mushrooms. Um, very exciting. So yeah, Stephen West short. I am really enjoying working on this, and I might commit to finishing this section today, just as something nice to do and having a plan of something to do that will make me sit down for a bit. Um, if you have any recommendations on Netflix or even YouTube, videos, either podcasts, documentaries, or nice films. I recently discovered a film, a bit of a tangent, called Blind Date, which, if you ask me, is a pretty naff name, and that might just be because it's translated from French, and it is a French film, and it is beautiful. It's slightly strange, which I love. Um, maybe the word would be kooky? I don't know. Um, but the premise is she's a pianist and he is an inventor and she moves into the flat next door to his and they can hear everything. Um, I won't give anything else away but it's really really cute and well worth a watch and it's not too twee. So if you're a couple and your partners or whoever's a bit like oh I don't really like cutesy films, it's not that cutesy, it's just really really good. So anyway, yeah, as as we most knitters know, Stephen West shawls are really well written. If you can't figure anything out, there is YouTube videos. So far, there's been nothing that has been not explained enough or even photographed enough in the pattern to make me need to even question or use those videos. So I do recommend this. And if you're after a project that is going to last you quite a while, I mean, I know some people churn these out really, really quickly, but for me, I did want uh, a selfish-ish knit, knit that I can keep working on and have on the back burner to dip in and out of but I would like to get this section done just because the Latvian braids like I said on a train although not problematic it's a little bit fiddly when you're twisting and you're trying to untangle yarn around your neighbour who has also paid a lot of money for a seat and is very uncomfortable. Um, so yeah Really enjoying working on this and 
I actually am very excited to wear it. The studio gets quite chilly in the winter, so I've got a feeling that this is going to be almost a, a shawl blanket that I can wrap myself in. And yeah, love this bag. <laughs> so I'll quickly share the next cast on, which I actually did cast on Sunday, and Alex was around, and he totally enabled me to do this. I wasn't going to cast this on until November, but it will get worn before that, I think, or it will get worn fairly soon after it's finished. And I've got really far, considering it is now only Wednesday. I have done two full days of work. I'm a bit sniffly, I do apologise. Um, but it is, again, it's quite a chunky knit, so very quick. So I am working on the Bessie and Judy Lodge sweater by Amy Appel of Poison Girl Knits. Um, it is a very cute sweater, very festive. I have finished the colour work and the entire body. Um, it has this cute, cute, cute little buttonhole at the back. So that's quite a nice bit of detailing that I've never got to try or do. Um, and I have started one of the sleeves. I'm a bit nervous if I'm honest about the sleeves. I followed the pattern, but I don't know. I just feel like I might have done something wrong somewhere. So we will see. Um, it's not the end of the world because they're fairly quick or up to this point, it's fairly quick to do. Um, the only modification I made here on the body was I didn't decrease quite as quickly as suggested. That's just because I, I didn't quite want a full 50s look and I've opted not to do the puffed sleeves. So I'm hoping, because I've opted not to do that, I have done it right. So yeah. Overall, I'm really, really pleased with this. I think this is going to be a fun Christmas wear. My family as a whole is quite um, quite a festive family, quite into Christmas. We sit by the fire and we do play games and we often do have evenings where we are required to wear Christmas jumpers. My mother probably wouldn't let us in the house if she would, but if we weren't wearing them. So it would be really nice to have my own one that I've hand knitted. This is again a very easy pattern to read. Amy's quite clear on what needs to be done. I think it recently had an update and I'm quite impressed with my holly balls. Um, <laughs> balls? Berries. So yeah and finally I guess I'll bring it a bit closer. It will need blocking but I've knit this using some drops. Uh, Alaska a very, very affordable yarn. Again, I'm not that convinced on supporting drops, but the price of it when you're spending as much money on travel as I am um, makes it fantastic. So I can't remember the colours off by heart, but I think they're all numbers and it would be quite obvious if you saw them online which colours I've used. And it's quite a cherry red. It's verging on the cooler side, which I like. And this is very, very naturally heathered light grey. And then quite a dark, almost heathery green. Yeah, really, really pleased with this one. Um, and I do think I'm just going to spend the day finishing the texture time, section two, and then power on with this. Just because I know how quick it will be. And I have said that I'd like to clear my needles by the new year, which may or may not happen. It's just a an aim rather than a strict goal. So I shouldn't have cast this on really, but it's so much fun and it's so nice and Sunday evening was so good that I couldn't not. And now I should have this done by the end of the week, I should imagine. It seems so quick, like Saturday or Sunday this will be hopefully getting blocked and washed. And this is actually living in my little mohair no problems bag which my aunt lovingly printed for me and also in it because it's Christmas the Satsuma which we get in our stockings every year so yeah I really don't know why that's still in there 
Um, I assume that's from yesterday's lunch that I didn't consume. But I'm a very, very happy knitter. So yeah, finally, another thing that I had absolutely no reason to cast on other than I was at a knitting show and I had absolutely no knitting on me. I have been eyeing up this gorgeous yarn from the lovely lady that was next to me or next to us at the store and I kept looking at it and kept looking at it and kept touching it and I had to buy some. So this is, I can't remember how it's pro pronounced, Lanomania, I believe, and it is Alpura, Al Al so it is a 100% super fine alpaca. Oh, let's try and get this in. I do, for do forgive me for my kooky behaviour, or wobbly behaviour. So this is 100% alpaca and it is completely undyed made in Peru and then I believe it was spun in Munich or it was at least spun in Germany uh, and it is so soft and I did because I literally went a little bit doolally cast something on um, and it was quite funny that the so I did meet quite a few people that watched my podcast which was really really sweet I am sorry if I'm a little bit shy and uncomfortable sometimes I don't mean to be but we all have our moments I think it was quite strange to be talking to people while in a work situation if that makes sense um, and one person in particular hello Max if you are watching was wearing the most amazing soiree that me and my colleague Georgia were sat actually going <gasps> that is amazing um, when he walked past the first time and when he came over and had a little chat I was completely in awe. I will try and actually put a picture up somewhere. Um, it is a gorgeous bright yellow jumper that he dyed himself which is fantastic um, and I had just been talking to Georgia in the morning about turning this yarn into a soiree and I took that as quite a sign and living in my duck pool lane which has the yellow on um, bag is not very much because like I said I got very much taken in by my Judy Lodge sweater um, is just a, the tiniest bit it's not even really worth showing of potentially my sorry um, it feels absolutely unreal it should bloom a fair bit the lovely owner of the stalls did suggest um, I am quite looking forward to knitting this. I did actually say that I was going to knit my soiree, my next one, which I had every intention of doing in January, so I was going to cast it on about the same time that I cast on my first one. Um, but it's on some needles now, whether I pick it up again very soon or if I finish it, I don't know. But. The Soiree is a gorgeous pattern by Emily Foden of Knits About Winter, um, of Viola Yarn, sorry. Um, the book it is in is called Knits About Winter. I believe you can buy the per <laughs> goodness. I believe you can purchase the pattern separately now. Um, but I, it's just a fantastic book and very beautiful. The photography in it, like I said, is stunning and it is quite an uh, aesthetic slash feel that I really love. It's just a gorgeous book. Um, I believe I have it just over there. But anyway, I think I should probably go in there, <laughs> uh, have a cup of tea or coffee and sort of get myself str um, um, struggling to talk a little bit as you might be able to hear my voice is starting to go. Um, but like I said, it was an absolute pleasure meeting people at the Knitting and Stitching show. I will do a full video for that next week, just because otherwise this will be quite a long video. And I think I did take quite a bit of footage. Well, let's try that again. Um, I will put some footage from Virginia Water at the end of this. So in just a few seconds time, um, we went for a lovely walk uh, 
it is near Ascot and we went sort of just just for a walk but it ended up being quite a little mushroom track or mushroom trail that we followed just spotting what we could see um, we had some lovely food and then I sat and did some knitting and it was just very very lovely evening as well as day and yeah I best go and get myself sorted a little bit and hopefully relax a bit so that I can clear whatever this is before it really takes hold um, thank you so much for joining me thank you if you did come up and talk at the Knitting and Stitching show it really was a pleasure to meet you face to face and to actually connect in real life um, again I love connecting online it's been really really lovely receiving some messages and responding to them um, there was a question I had oh good crochet bl blanket patterns if you've got any suggestions for those although I have no reason to be casting on I do think having a big crochet blanket pattern project to hand would be awesome especially with winter coming um, I have quite a lot of old acrylic yarn that I really have no purpose for I'm not going to use it for jumpers and things like that so if you have any suggestions that would be really wonderful I will try and put in the down bar all of the patterns all of the yarn that I've used and project bag links too um, thank you so much for joining me I hope you have a lovely week whether you're making knitting or sharing time with family and friends and I hope to see you very soon bye Thank you.